Hey guys, I am working on bleeding my brakes on a 2014 Tesla S. Searched on YouTube, I didn't find very many videos on it, so I figured I'd make one real quick. Um, so the the process to do it is you need to lift the car up so that you can get the tire off, so you can get to the brakes and you can get to the bleeder valve. Uh, to lift the car up, you just need some spacers. That spacer, if you look underneath the car, there's three holes. The two holes will have a bolt in it on either side, and then the middle one is where the spacer goes, and then you jack up using that spacer. I make sure the jack's like right on the edge of the spacer, so there's no chance that it's too far forward to where it smashes into the battery. Um, once you do that, on the bleeder valves, there are these little caps. You can just pop the cap off, you know, put it somewhere close so it doesn't get lost. Um, then you attach your, what I'm using is a, it's a bleeder valve. It has a vacuum on this side. It will pull the brake fluid into this container. And so it lets you bleed the brakes by yourself. You don't have to have somebody in the car pumping the brakes or anything along those lines. Um, so what you do is you attach your hose and then crack that bolt loose and then you can just pump it and it will pump the brake fluid through. Um, you'll notice the color. The color, it's like a dark amber. It should be pretty close to clear if you have good clean brake fluid. Um, you'll notice there's a bleeder valve on this side. And there's also a bleeder valve on the back right right there. So you want to bleed both of those. Um, as your one thing you want to make sure is you don't ever want to get a, a uh, air bubble in your system. So as you're bleeding it, that's your reservoir. So make sure that this thing's always filled up. You can see how kind of amber or syrupy color, you know, it looks like something you put on pancakes, not <laughs> something for your brake system. And that happens as the brake fluid gets old, it gets water in it and changes the colors and you, you should have, you know, pretty close to clear brake fluid. Um, so what I use is fully synthetic brake fluid. I'm just using some DOT3, um, just some Pennzoil DOT3. You can use DOT4, DOT4 is also DOT3 compliant, or look at the container right and it will tell you right on there if it works for DOT3 and DOT4. Um, overall, you wanna fill it up. If you need to, you know, use a funnel in there. Try not to have it overflow because brake fluid will chew the paint off of your car. Um, and by having it full, meaning you're starting to bleed your brakes, so you're going to suck a lot of fluid through this system. In fact, I'm going to keep pumping on this rear driver's side brake caliper until it runs clear. So I need to suck everything out of here and replace it with clear fluid. And... Uh, I'll probably have to dump that little, I think it's like three ounce holding container on that vacuum pump. I'll have to do that a couple of times until I get, you know, the full system flushed. After that, as you pull off each tire and you bleed each brake, you'll notice that you're not pulling that much brake fluid through anymore because you've kind of purged the system of a majority of the brake fluid. Um, brake fluid's cheap, like do this. I think Tesla recommend, yeah, look at Tesla's manual for their recommendation on it. But what I do is I just, I pull off the, you know, the cover and I take a look at it. You, you don't want to open it a lot because then you're letting water get in there. Water's what destroys brake fluid. But anytime that turns kind of an amber color, it's a good time to change it. And once again, it's, it's, if you're doing it for yourself, it's, it's pretty cheap. Um, Anyway, I'm going to get to it.